Hey, Okie Tools here, and this is going to be my video review of the M12 3/8 inch drill driver number 2407-20. Uh, this is a part of the Milwaukee uh, M12 combo kit that is number 2494-22. So as you can see there, we have the uh, M12 3/8 drill driver there. And uh, I just wanted to run through some uh, specs on it real quick. Uh, its total length from uh, end to the chuck is um, 7 and 3 eighths inches. Its total weight, I believe this is uh, without the battery, is just over 2 pounds. Its uh, no load RPMs is 0 to 400 and um, 0 to 1500. And uh, the uh, peak torque is 275 inch-pounds. Okay, as I said in the opener there, this is a part of a uh, combo kit that you get from Milwaukee for the M12s. And um, it comes with a, a quarter-inch impact driver, as I said, and a 3H drill driver. It comes with two batteries. In this case, these are the uh, red lithium uh, M12 1.5 amp hour batteries I believe it comes with a charger uh, that's uh, the larger one there's a smaller one they make but this is the larger one and it has some light indicators right there so it's a real nice uh, charger and then it comes with a contractor bag can't say much about the contractor bag other than you know it looks like something that you put your uh, lunch in or something but it's nice that it included it uh, for carrying all the tools batteries and charger together to a work site so just some things about the um, uh, 3H drill driver here, uh, some of the controls and features and things like that. This is the uh, 1.5 amp hour battery, we'll just start here at the base real quick. So it comes out like that and uh, it's uh, real nice and compact. They make a, uh, I believe a 4 amp hour battery that's a little bit bigger than that and a 2 amp hour battery, extended run battery that's about the same size. Uh, but uh, it fits in there real well. It locks in real nice. There's no wiggle to it on mine, uh, so that's nice. This is a nice thick grip here. has rubber mold all over the front and back and all over the top of the tool and the back of the tool. I really like that. It feels very good in the hand. Uh, it's cold right now being December in Oklahoma, but even just a, uh, last week or so or the week before, it was nearly 80 out here even though it was you know the end of November and uh, you know you get sweaty on those days when you're working on something so it's nice to have some rubber over mold to really grip it in uh, and this is a a nice swell uh, my Makitas are a little bit thinner there so I kinda like that it fills the hand out so that's nice and this is a uh, quite a bit of real estate to grab onto and uh, that's nice it uh, has the control for uh, forward and reverse if you put it in the middle position it locks it out you can see the LED light there comes on. You don't have to actually turn it all the way on. You just kind of depress the trigger and it comes on. And it has a delayed off, so that's kind of nice of a few seconds. So there's forward, there's reverse, and um, it has another control up here. Uh, two, I believe, is the high speed. One is the slower speed but more torque. Then you have the drill setting. It has 18 torque settings, which uh, helps you when you're uh, torquing something down not to over torque it. So that's nice. And it uh, really lets you dial that in. It has um, a couple other features to it that I really like, uh, such as the variable speed trigger. And uh, it lets you really um, uh, you know, dial that in. It has a really nice pocket clip uh, that seems very strong and it's well positioned in my opinion. And it, you know, acts against this rubber over mold to really keep it locked in wherever you put it at. And uh, it has a metal chuck. I really like that it has a metal chuck. It just, you know, to me, it just it screams that it's a contractor tool. And in a, uh, you know, world where power tools are trying to cheapen themselves, which isn't, you know, a big deal. I understand that, you know, passing the save. Hopefully, they pass those savings in manufacturing on to the consumer. But it's nice to see on such an affordable uh, drill driver that you have this really nice, well-made uh, metal chuck. So uh, it also has 
the uh, light bar right here, which as you can see, three bars are lit up, three dots are lit up. The fourth one is down because, uh, uh, as you'll see in a minute from the testing that I did or showed uh, while filming, that it uh, dropped off a bar. But that's uh, how you indicate instead of being on the battery. It indicates right here, and that's a really nice feature. It's always good to know how much juice you have left on your battery. Okay, we got the Milwaukee M12 uh, 3 8 inch uh, drill driver here, and I got the Board of Truth. As you can see, the uh, holes from the quarter inch uh, impact driver video, and it split the wood, so I'll be working probably over in here, uh, away from the split. This is a um, 3 8 inch bit. I know that's a still bit. I don't care. And um, I'm going to be drilling those in here and see how it's doing. I got it on two. That's for the highest speed. And I got it on uh, the drill position. And show you right there. The bars are all lit up. It is a full battery. It's been a while since I charged this though. And I've been messing around with it. So after this, just like on that quarter inch, uh, impact driver video, it may drop off the bar, no big deal. These are the, uh, believe, 1.5 amp hour batteries. So, go ahead and see how it does. Let's drill another one. So it's having no problem doing that, no problem whatsoever. And uh, that is, as you can see, the, I believe the biggest drill bit. It'll uh, since it's a three eighths, I believe that's the biggest one you can get inside its chuck. So it did well there. And now I got a one inch spade bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it back here and uh, see how it does. See how long it takes to get through there. Okay, so it got through. So I'm going to go ahead and do another one real quick. Uh, it looks like it dropped off a bar doing that. Uh, it may be getting, uh, just, it may, it's probably my fault that it's having that trouble. Uh, it's obviously my fault that it's having that trouble. Uh, that's a pretty clean hole through there. I do like that. And uh, it, it probably would have gone through a little bit easier, but I was kind of forcing it. So I'm not going to force this one as much. We'll see how it does. There you go, you just let it take itself through the wood like that and it had no trouble right there you see. Uh, it looks like it's dropped off two, uh, uh, so it's down to two now. Uh, so um, after doing um, this drilling right here and this drilling right here and then these two spade bits, um, it may be that I uh, should have started out charging the batteries beforehand, seeing if they held up a little bit better. Uh, they make a extended runtime battery for this. It's a two amp hour, and they make a even larger one than that that I believe is a four amp hour. They may make some other ones. I'm not quite sure, but uh, it uh, uh, definitely with a you know larger capacity battery is going to run longer for you. And even then, after uh, there, okay, it's three. It only dropped uh, uh, one off, so it's still at three. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's got plenty of life left in it. Uh, you probably do a whole bunch more of these, but at least that proves to me that this little guy, even though it's a little guy, has plenty of power to still go do with these one-inch spade bits and uh, maxed-out drill bits for its size chuck. So, uh, in closing, my general thoughts about it. 
are um, that it's a little on the heavy side, but that just goes towards making it feel substantial in the hand as far as I'm concerned. It's a little bit thick, but that's the same thing. It just makes you feel like it's a, a good tool, a good strong tool in the hand. And uh, it has a lot of features about it, like I just talked about, that I really liked about it, such as the metal chuck and whatnot, and the ability to, uh, you know, the fuel gauge. Um, you know, it is the brushed motored version, as you can see, the light lights up right there uh, from the brushes. It is a brush motor version. I know it's not the fuel version, but uh, I feel like it's still a good amount of power, as you saw in the test video with the spade bit and driving the 3 8 bit uh, drill bit through there, through the wood, through the 2x4. It did real well and had no real problems And uh, to speak of. And the battery life seems pretty good. There are extended run batteries if you need more run time. And it just seems to be a very well made contractor grade uh, 12 volt tool, uh, which is uh, nice. There's plenty of options out there in the uh, 12 volt tools uh, from different manufacturers, but uh, I really like this offering from Milwaukee and I'm glad that I got it. This was my review of the Milwaukee 3 8 inch drive uh, drill driver. Thanks for watching.